Welcome back students. In this video, we are going to work on the grammar section on page 14. So please go to page 14 in your workbook. And the grammar section for this one is talking about the future using going or will. So remember, going is to be plus going plus your verb and will is will plus verb. So the big difference in these two is to be. So to be is I am, you are, he is, she is, you, plural, you are, we are, or they are. So remember, if you see to be in a sentence, you need to use going to. All right, so let's get started. Future simple, going to versus will. A, complete each sentence in the conversation with going to or will. So number one, are you blank take another math class again next year so look there's you so we need to use going to are you going to take another math class again next year all right so the next one i'm not sure yet i blank decide when I sign up for classes next week. All right, so this one, I, needed. no I to be, no I am, so this one has to be will, will plus verb. I will decide when, all right? And number three, I blank, take math again. There's no to be, so we need to use will. I will take math again. And then the next one, I am. All right, so this is I am, so that is to be. So we need going to. I am going to take the new writing class. And the last one, I hope we... There's no to be, so I hope we will. All right, so, ahora ustedes tienen las respuestas, ustedes deben practicar leyendo esto en voz alta. So voy a leer para ustedes ahorita. Joe, are you going to take another math class again next year? Mike, I'm not sure yet. I will decide when I sign up for classes next week. Joe, I will take math again. I also plan to take the new writing class. Mike, I didn't know that. I am going to take the new writing class as well. And the last one, Joe, I hope we will be in the class together. Okay, so that is everything for exercise A. Now we will continue to exercise B. Okay, now we are on section B. Section B, complete each sentence using going to or will. Going to or will, remember, to be. All right, number one, we, there's no to be, so we, We'll see the new movie when it is released on Friday. Number two, I am, so we need going to, I am going to my grandma's house this weekend. Number three, Lars is, okay, Lars is un nombre, Lars is, Going to, Lars is going to a school play with his friends. 
And number four, Mark will apply for a job when summer vacation starts. Meaning no I to be, so it's will. And the last one, Amanda and Devin are. So we need going to. Amanda and Devin are going to a friend's house today. So now that you have these, ustedes deben practicar diciendo or hablando en voz alta. So, escucha y practica. All right, that's it for section B. Now we will go to section C. Okay, in section C, it says write down a list of your own predictions, plans, and future events in general. Use going to or will. Okay, in esta parte ustedes necesitan escribir five sentences, cinco oraciones usando going to or will. So ustedes necesitan hacer esto en su propio tiempo. Y voy a revisar luego. All right, now we will continue to the next page. All right, students, we are on page 15. Section D, choose the correct answer. So let's read along and choose the correct answer. We are talking about simple future or future progressive. So number one, I blank the car before the game starts. So this is simple future. I will wash the car before the game starts. Number two, at this time tomorrow, we blank the semifinal. All right, this is talking about a specific event in the future. So at this time tomorrow, we will be playing the semifinal. Number three, I blank you a ticket to the concert if I have enough money. All right, this is simple future. So it is I will buy you a ticket to the concert if I have enough money. So when you see the word if, it's talking about a conditional. Si tengo suficiente dinero, compraré. Un boleto para ti. Number four, please don't call me when you arrive. I blank an important exam. All right, otra vez está hablando de un evento específico en el futuro. ¿Qué está haciendo? So, I will be doing. Please don't call me when you arrive. I will be doing an important exam. And number five, I can't concentrate. I blank a walk to relax. This is talking about a prediction. A prediction is simple future. So I can't concentrate. I will take a walk to relax. That's it for this section. Let's continue on to section E. All right, students, here is section E. Complete each sentence with a future simple or future progressive word or phrase. All right, so number one, Adam blank when he gets to the pool this afternoon. So this is simple future. So Adam will swim when he gets to the pool this afternoon. All right, number two, Fred blank when the school bus arrives to pick him up. So this one is talking about future progressive porque está haciendo algo en el futuro específico. So Fred will be waiting. Will be waiting, Esperar. Fred will be waiting when the school bus arrives to pick him up. 
All right, and number three, Samantha Blank, her grandma, to thank her for the birthday gift. All right, it's talking about something she will do in the future. So Samantha will call her grandmother. Will call, or you can say will write. Both are good. Number four, Horacio and Marie blank their school project tonight. Again, this is simple future. So let's do simple future with going to. Horacio and Marie to be is R. Are going to finish their school project tonight. So Horacio and Marie are going to finish their school project tonight. Number five, mom blank, a pizza for dinner on Friday. This is a prediction. A prediction is simple future. So mom will order a pizza for dinner on Friday. And the last one, dad blank, the house this weekend before guests arrive. All right, so this is something to do in the future. So dad will clean the house this weekend. And in going to, dad is going to clean. All right, so you can use will or going to. And this is it for grammar. Thank you for watching and following along. Adios.